Now that woman voted in 2016. The problem, she's on probation for a felony conviction, and now she's facing five years behind bars. So we want to know, do you think the punishment fits the crime? Weigh in on the Vote Now tab of the WFAA app or go to WFAA.com slash vote now. Here's Lauren Zakalik. 43-year-old Crystal Mason is facing five years in prison for something her attorney says was an honest mistake. And she had a good faith belief that she could vote legally as she did so. Warren St. John says Mason was on parole back in 2016 for committing a federal tax crime when she went to vote in the presidential election. It is illegal to vote in Texas if you are convicted of a felony and still serving your sentence, including parole. Did she know that she was committing a crime? She did not. That's her defense. She testified to that this week in court that she was never told by the federal judge she couldn't vote. She was never told by the halfway house folks she couldn't vote. It's the rare exception when a correction system informs people about their right to vote. Mark Maurer runs right the sentencing back. project, an advocacy group that works on criminal justice reform. He calls the process confusing and wonders how clearly Mason understood it. In a presidential election, about 40 percent of Americans don't even vote. Uh, and here we are putting somebody in prison for five years for wanting to participate in the process. And she specifically told the trial judge, if I would have known it was illegal to vote, I would have got up and left. Despite her testimony, a Tarrant County judge sentenced Mason, seen here in a previous mugshot, to five years in prison during a bench trial this week. Tarrant County District Attorney Sharon Wilson said this about the case. Our society is built on personal responsibility. There were multiple safeguards in place to keep Crystal Mason from breaking the law, but she still made that choice. When we stopped by Crystal Mason's Rendon home to try to talk to her about this, the person who answered the door told us Mason wasn't there and then immediately shut the door. We weren't able to reach her by telephone either. She's very sad and she changed her life. She's not the person she used to be. Mason has appealed her conviction. In Tarrant County, Lauren Zakalik, Channel 8 News.